Hi, I'm Jared. I'm the co-founder and executive chef here at Crafty Ramen. Today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to cook one of our DIY ramen kits at home. Today we're cooking the Tokyo Salary Man. This is a classic shoyu style ramen. It's inspired by the Tokyo root to the cuisine. You get a choice of either soy chicken or veggie broth, a choice of proteins, green onions, menma, sesame seeds, and garlic and shallot oil. Now for the best experience, we recommend that you de-thaw these in the fridge for about 24 hours. But if you want to cook them frozen, that's fine. There's just a couple extra steps you're going to want to take. First thing you're going to want to do is take your broth and your protein and put these in the microwave for about two minutes. Then you can put your noodles and buttermen, if you have them, aside. And then I want you to take all your other ingredients, put them in your serving bowl and fill it with hot water. Hot tap water is fine because all we're doing is defrosting all these ingredients as well as bringing them up to a serving temperature. Now, before we get started, we're going to want to make sure that we have all of our components and equipment ready because once we get going, this is going to come together really quick. The first thing we do is get our water boiling. Once that's going, we get our stock on. Now, we only need to bring this up to a simmer. There's no need to boil it down or evaporate it. So once that's hot, pull it off. We're going to get a pan on to cook our proteins. Get it nice and hot. While that's heating up, I'm going to take my noodles. I'm going to gently furl them into my basket. Now, these take about a minute and a half to two minutes to cook. A little bit longer if you're cooking them from frozen. Give them a bit of a shake in the basket. Make sure there's no lumps or clumps. And then we can turn our attention to our protein. So, just in a dry, non-stick pan, I'm going to arrange my chashu in there. Again, this is fully cooked, so we don't have to worry about worry about it. We're just, just trying to get it, warm it up, get a little bit of color on it. You can also do this with a blowtorch if you have it, or stick it on your grill, or put it under the broiler. The noodles are cooking, protein's on. We turn our attention to our bowl. Now we have our tale. This is a roasted soy tale. Pour it into the bottom of the bowl. You want to make sure you get as much of it in there as possible, because this is the good stuff. You don't want to leave any behind. This is what's going to give our bowl all the flavor. So we got our tale in there. I'm going to pour in my stock. And then I'm going to check them around to give my noodles a stir. Maybe even a taste and see how they're coming along. So I like my noodles a little bit al dente and those ones are almost there. Probably another 20 seconds or so. So while those are finishing up, I'm just going to take my chashu, flip it, flip it over. Check back in on my noodles. They look good to me. And up. Now, when you're straining them out of the basket, you want to make sure you get as much of this water out of them as possible, because any of that excess water is going to dilute your broth. So gently let them roll into the bowl, being careful not to splash yourself. And then we're just going to give them a quick mix, spread them out a bit help them soak up that broth, and then we can plate. Lay my chashu out nicely here. And then we have our menma, and our green onions with our garlic and shallot oil and some sesame seeds. And that's it. We're ready to eat.